Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Last episode we went ahead and made our first our first farm up in this area. It's actually turned out very beautiful. Um, as you can see the plants have not had much time to grow between recordings but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm sure that very very soon it will go ahead and flourish. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and we're going to first go and uh, feed the cows across the across the way here. Um, somebody suggested in the comment section. Uh, I I cannot remember the name. I, I really do apologize for that. Um, that we that we make like a monorail system between the farms or something like that. I think it'd be cool to have like a railway system maybe over the water to our cow farm. Our our uh, our cow our cow. Uh, uh, I still can't say it. Our cow farm. Uh, I think that'd be very very cool. And what is? Uh, wait a second. What are you, are you taunting the other cows? Look, this wild cow is taunting our cows. You're mean. Stay down from, you know what? We're going to teach them, we're going to teach them a lesson. You, that's not nice. That's not nice. Don't pick on people just because they're stuck in a cage. Huh? You think, you think something's funny? Huh? Huh? Yeah, didn't think so. Making fun of our cows. Very beautiful cows. You guys, you guys didn't deserve any of this. I'm sorry you had to see me do that. I lost my temper there, cows. Okay. Let's go ahead and get on in here. Oh, 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 oh. Look what I got. Look what I got. Oh. You and you. You and you. You and you. Oh, no, you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought maybe we'd get one to grow, but I think I fed too much wheat to one. Uh, so we're not going to give you any more wheat. You should, you should grow very quickly now, though. So we'll get our boat. Hup. Okay, so this episode, I think we're going to do something pretty cool um, that I wanted to do uh, aesthetically to our home. We're going to have to we're going to have to do quite a bit of work here, though. Oh, and there goes our boat. Let's go ahead. and Nope, no, we don't have enough wood on us. I was going to say. Sorry about that. I was going to say um, that we should go ahead and, and make another one right away. But we obviously can't because we are out of wood. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and run down there. Wait. Let's go ahead and cook this. Boom. I don't know how much that'll cook, but hopefully it'll cook enough. Okay, so my idea is I want I want to do something cool looking with the lava. Now, I know that's very very general. Um, but I think I have an idea for right in here actually. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um Knock out these walls. We're not. We don't have to do it too far. Just enough. Um, I think. Yeah, this will be fine. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't. I, I don't think I want to do this side. I. I know I just really flipped, but I think I have a cool idea. Um, that'll that'll really really make our our house unique. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to clear out this area here. Oh, good thing we have another pickaxe right here. Now, I know, I know I'm being very vague right now and not explaining really what, what we're doing. But I promise you the payoff is going to be awesome. Um, oh, that's a problem. Nah, it won't be a problem. We'll be fine. Okay. So the idea is, is that, yeah, we want our house to be unique and we want it to, to look very cool and modern and, well, not really modern, I guess. We went for a castle feel, so uh, the word would be renaissance-like. Oh, whoa. Almost caught out by the sand there. No problem. Um, I, don't, I don't think actually I want to show too much of this. Uh... We're gonna have to knock out this wall too because that's that's how it goes, I guess. Because that's how I did it. Um, right? Yeah. How high up can we go on this? This is pretty cool. Right about there should be cool. And so now we're going to want to cap it off with something like this. Let's go ahead and 
Let's just break this out. Put that there. I know I this is I promise this is gonna be cool, okay? I know I I know I'm just kinda like stuttering over everything, but I don't wanna give too much away. It's just it's gonna be so cool when you see it. Um I'll go ahead and fast forward though for you guys so that you guys don't have to watch me struggle with uh, figuring all this kind of stuff out. Now I wanted to say before before I uh, I finish building here um, that I know it seems odd that I do all these all these these like uh, artistic projects, but really I I I really just want to say that uh, this is what Minecraft is about. I, I'm thinking about it, and um, Minecraft is really about um, not only being able to express yourself, but but really making something yours and like in building this house and stuff obviously um makes it makes it a little bit more of of ours and like i said uniqueness and beauty it's just all it all comes together um that's really all i wanted to say about that i'll continue building <laughs> Okay, so I need a lot of glass for this, for what I'm doing here. Uh, so that should be a major hint for everybody what I'm what I'm doing here. But if you still don't know, then I'm gonna keep you in the dark. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mine a bunch of sand. And what we'll do is we'll also use the um, it as an excuse in order to clean up our staircase a little bit more, make it look a little bit more um, handmade instead of all natural, just built into the wall of a uh, of a mountain. Um, obviously, we don't want to ruin it though, so I'll do my best to keep a keep a nice balance here. Yeah, and like it, that's another thing that I think really defines beauty in Minecraft is when somebody can balance um, the the nature or the the random spawning of the game with with what they do. I mean, that's the idea of the game is is to be able to overcome. Um, obstacles that, that the randomness throws at you and, uh, and and not only overcome it but to thrive in it um, but is, isn't that I guess the definition of life is to, to do kind of the same thing um, I think we're getting close to the number that we're, we're going to need here so what we're gonna do oh I guess that will have to do let's let's actually go ahead and grab one more just to make it a, a nice flat 32 there another half a stack and we'll run back into the house I we might need more glass but it, 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 it's not super important no I guess we're gonna have 33 okay so we'll just pop this these down in the furnace here uh, it's gonna take four pieces of coal per furnace because we're gonna do 32 and four times eight is 32 so boom I know that's 33 but this this one will be a lot better here let's go ahead and boom and we're just gonna go oh that did not cook like I thought it was going to cook no problem let's go ahead and throw this guy in here and then we'll throw a few more logs just so we get this beef to cook and I have been saving all of our food i know we have tons uh in this chest uh, i'm sure we'll run into more as our farm gets going let's go ahead and check on it oh yeah looks good okay so now we're going to want to go down into the mine uh actually let's drop off a few more things and what we'll do is while we're down there we'll pick up uh, all the iron we see as well as uh, a bucket of lava because that is the next step in what we're building uh this is going to have to obviously be rehauled but uh, like I said, it's all about doing it slowly. Here is our mine. If you don't remember, we did this uh, last, not last episode, but the episode before. See, and that's why we put the water at the bottom so we can just land in the water. Like I said, we're just going to pick up uh, all the ores that we see now uh, and place down torches so that we don't get absolutely wrecked by mobs like we did last episode with that creeper. That uh, was a real big issue. 
not real big, but I mean, at least it didn't kill us. But the idea is we're going to want a full set of armor. Ooh, what is this? Hello, did I already go down here before? Yeah, it looks like I have. It's right around the corner. Okay, no problem. Let's make sure there's nothing here that's going to try to knock us in this lava. What else? Anything? Uh, it's awesome that we have obsidian here. It's unfortunate that we don't have diamond here yet. Um, yeah, so we're just going to come on through this cave. Uh, I guess we'll take a little bit more coal because we just used some uh, up top at the surface. Just a few more pieces here. Won't take too long. Ooh, hello. That's why we never uh, go right below ourselves. Like when you mine, you never dig right below yourself because you have a risk of falling very, very seriously to your death. So we'll just take our time here. Remember, this is why I usually like to carry the bucket of water, but we needed the bucket for lava this time, which is no problem. Because then we could just spill the water and jump down, you know? Hello? Just look around, make sure there's no mobs trying to come get us. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, looks like we got some redstone here. What else? Anything? No, we're going to have to come back and search this, though. Uh, let's go up to the surface first. And then we will come back down when we're good and ready to explore this. That's so cool, though. I, I, I can't believe we haven't run into that yet. Let's go back up. Uh, what I like to do usually for exits is I like to mark them like that with three torches vertically. Um, it's just like if you, you know, if you get turned around or whatever, then like you see, oh, wait, there's three torches. That means that the, the exit is very close by. Uh, I usually do it like within 10 blocks of the exit so that I see it and I'm like, yes, finally salvation. Um, just, to, just something you might want to keep in mind. There's a lot of people that do a lot of different things like writing down the uh, F3 coordinates, which if you haven't seen already are there. Uh, X, Y, Z, you'll see it uh, change as we go up. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and check on our glass. Glass is moving, uh, if I'm going to be honest, awfully slow. Um, it's fine though. We got some more coal here. Uh, we're going to keep this lava bucket in here just so that... Um, we don't accidentally burn something down because I have a feeling that, that that would happen way too easily for, for us. Or I would probably end up doing it, obviously. But we don't want that to happen. Uh, what else? Is there anything else we can get rid of? Get rid of the... Every, obviously, it's the last last uh, chest I check. That will always happen. Um, I, usually, people like label them. What you can do is you can take a sign, which would be in this chest. You can shift. You can right-click. And then let's say this one is what... Uh, Stone. Stone and dirt. Nice. And then boom. See? It says stone and dirt on there. So we know what's in there now. And then this one we'll go ahead and call woods. This one's uh, nature stuff. And this one is uh, currently valuables. But uh, as we get more ores, we'll have to make a valuables chest. And then a tools chest. And then a redstone chest. And, you know, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this glass. It looks like we have enough to start working at least. Uh, hopefully we have enough. Let's go ahead and grab that bucket of lava. We'll just keep it out of our hot bar, I guess. And then we'll just hop two, and then you can shift, and then right-click all the way around. We're going to make a, a pretty cool tube here. There we go. And we'll just fill this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to mine away this, this, this cobblestone. Let's keep the cobblestone in our hot bar because we need to work with it fast. We will lay down this lava right here and then this cobblestone right there. And we will slowly watch this lava fall. Very cool. Now, I hope that this glass will be enough of a barrier to not burn down our wooden stairs. But if it's not, obviously, our home is not made of wood, so we're not going to absolutely ruin it uh, if it does start on fire. But isn't that awesome? Look, we have a, a nice, cool lava pillar now in our house. Uh, I wish I could show it at night. Unfortunately, it is not yet. Um, but let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and go down to the bottom. And... Hup. 
Get ourselves some water so that we can go explore the cave. Or that, that little cave system that we found below. Up. So yeah, if you guys can think of anything like cool, like little aesthetics like that, um, that will really improve our house. Like, you know, see yeah, that little thing? It's, it's, oh, hello. Get out of here, get out of here. If you guys can think of anything, where did he, where did he come from? It's like, it's not even that light in here. I mean, that dark, right? Right? I don't know. Anyway, if you can think of anything cool like that, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um... Because this is not only my house in this series, this is our house. You guys contribute just as much as our guys and gals. I always say guys, but I, it, it means guys and gals, like all, all everybody. Um, this, this is not only my home, this is our home. And so if you have anything cool like that, please, please share it. Um, because I think it'll make it more fun for us. Let's go ahead and drop this sand here um i think i'm gonna end up the uh, end the episode off here though you guys uh we'll save that that mining expedition for next time if you guys enjoyed the episode please remember to hit that like button if uh if you're new to the channel don't remember don't don't remember don't remember to hit subscribe because um it's really not worth your time no if you guys enjoyed it uh, and you're looking you, you want to see some more episodes please remember to hit the subscribe button uh, and have a great day